Hey there, Louis Acabellas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you a trick that will help you easily share Microsoft Teams channel posts and chat conversations through email using Microsoft Outlook. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. Have you ever found yourself trying to share the content of a channel post in Microsoft Teams through email using Microsoft Outlook? How about chat messages? Have you ever tried to share a chat message in Microsoft Teams with someone through email using Microsoft Outlook? If you've done this, then it's likely that you've either just copy and pasted the content of the post or the chat message into the body of an email. Or maybe you just took a screenshot of the post or the chat message and again, just pasted the screenshot in the body of an email. Now, both of those approaches work. They get the job done, but there's actually a more efficient way for you to share the content of a channel post in Microsoft Teams or a chat message through email using Microsoft Outlook on the web. That's right, with the click of a button, you can actually embed a channel post or a chat message directly in the body of an email to be sent from Microsoft Outlook on the web right from within the Microsoft Teams application. Now we'll go ahead and we'll look at how to do this with channel posts first, and then we'll go ahead and we'll look at how to do this with chat messages in Microsoft Teams. Now let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, now to share a channel post via email through Outlook on the web directly from Microsoft Teams, the first thing you need to do is navigate to the team with the channel post that you would like to share. Now you can see here, I have this channel post with the subject month end closing checklist. Now what you want to do is you want to hover your cursor over the channel post and that's going to bring up the reaction menu and at the end of this reaction menu you're going to see these three dots so you want to go ahead and click on this this is the more options button and when you scroll up in this menu you are going to see the share to outlook option now a very important note if you do not see the share to outlook option there are a few different reasons why this might not be displayed here First and foremost, your organization has to have enabled Microsoft Outlook on the web. So if you navigate to office.com and you can see the Outlook icon and you can click on it and get into Outlook on the web, that means that you have it enabled and you should see this share to Outlook function. Now, if you don't see the share to Outlook function, and you have Microsoft Outlook for the web enabled, then it's possible that this feature has been disabled, so it's recommended that you contact your Microsoft administrators. Now to go ahead and actually share this channel post directly from Teams through Outlook, you wanna click on this button, and what this is going to do is this is going to bring up this menu here that says share conversation over email, and you can see here the Outlook icon and the Outlook label. And what this is going to do is this is going to bring up an Outlook for the web email. So you can see here, this looks just like if you were to send an email using Outlook on the web, you can see your from address, you can see your two fields, uh, CC, the subject line. Now you're going to notice that the subject line was actually populated with the same subject from the channel post. And if you scroll down into the body of this email, you can see here that Microsoft Teams just appends the actual channel post neatly in the body of the email. And what's really cool about this is you can actually still edit this content. So it's not a screenshot. If you wanted to add content, for example, then you can go ahead and do that. Now, very quickly, because this is essentially an email, you can change the formatting, you can add um, underlining, bold, etc. you can highlight stuff. You can even add attachments just as if you were to send an email directly again from Outlook on the web. So for all intents and purposes, you know, this is just sending an email and Microsoft Teams is going to automatically just bring that channel post over into the email for you. When you're sending channel posts using this approach, you're going to see this button here and this is really handy. So Microsoft Teams is also going to append a hyperlink so that when you actually get this email, you can click on it and it's going to bring the recipient right into where this channel post 
was posted, you know, the specific channel within the specific team. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send this to myself here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click send. Now I'm gonna quickly bring up Outlook on the web. And so you can see here that that email was sent and received. And if I click into this, you can see here, it is just going to append the actual channel post right in the body of the email. And again, just to demonstrate, this is actually a hyperlink here, the go to teams text. And if I click on this, it's going to prompt me to open Microsoft Teams desktop application and it's gonna bring me back into the specific channel of the specific team where that post was actually posted in. So that is how to easily share a channel post from Microsoft Teams via email through Outlook on the web. Next, we'll go ahead and look at how to do this with a chat message in a Microsoft Teams chat. All right, now, in order to share a chat message via email using Microsoft Outlook on the web, you want to navigate to the specific chat that you want to share. In this case, you can see here, I am in a chat with my colleague Diego. The next thing that you'll need to do is place your cursor over the specific message that you want to share, and that is going to bring up the reactions bar. Next, you wanna click on the more options button at the end of this bar, which is the three dots. And here you want to click share to Outlook. Again, just like we saw with the channel post, this is going to bring up a new Outlook on the web email. And what you'll notice is that the subject line has been populated with chat conversation with the individual who sent you that chat message. And you can see here in the actual body of the email, it has appended that chat message. Now, just like we saw with channel posts, you can actually go in and add content to this message if you wanted to. Um, and what you'll also notice is that unlike with the channel post, there is no hyperlink to bring you back into this specific chat message. And that seems pretty obvious given that this may be a one-on-one -on -one chat and you might be sharing that with somebody external to that chat. So it makes sense that there is no hyperlink. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and populate my email here in the to field. And just like we saw with the channel post, you can go ahead and add content to this, apply formatting, add attachments, etc. Now I'll just go ahead and click send. And next what I'll do is I will bring up Microsoft Outlook on the web. And you can see here that that message was sent and received. And again, it just cleanly places the content of that chat message right in the body of this email. So that's it. In this video, I showed you a Microsoft Teams trick that can help you easily share channel posts and chat messages through email using Microsoft Outlook on the web right from within the Microsoft Teams application. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.